a massive budget by the first female Chancellor of the Exchequer in the United Kingdom. She has definitely gone big on spending, big on investments, big on taxes, the whole lot. Uh, I think she's obviously making sure the history will remember her. Uh, whether it's positive or negative, a time will tell. But key thing for property investors point of view, no CGT increase uh, on personal property like a lot of people are anticipating. However, there is CGT increase from 10 to 18 percent for lower tax uh, holders and from 20 to 24 percent for higher rate tax holders on investments. So stocks and shares uh, and other uh, sort of um, trading commodities, basically. So uh, so that's no effect on property developers. A massive one is the uh, surcharge, which has gone up to 5%. It was uh, 3%, so 2% surcharge. And I think there's a clear message here. Definitely, uh, you are going to... She's definitely killed the residential market, whether it's through landlord uh, uh, tenants' rights bill, or it's basically say, a, a clear message saying, Two big strategies going forward for 2025. Land, where there's no effect on extra SDLT and commercial property. Those are the only two strategies that we should be looking at as property developers. Commercial to residential conversions, commercial to commercial conversions and buying land, building residential and selling it. Uh, those are the three strategies, in my view, uh, which I'm going to be focusing on in the new uh, in 2025. Uh, what else from a property uh, investment point of view? Obviously, small business owners, property owners who employ people in the UK are going to be affected by national insurance going up, contribu employers' contributions from 13.8% to 15%. Uh, however, she has tried to balance the threshold, I think. So she's increased the threshold where if you were paying uh, from you know a smaller threshold, then it'll be a higher threshold. So, And I think the um, discount allowance as well, she's increased it to 10.5,000. Uh, so where she's taking uh, and she's raising a huge 25 billion from businesses um, across the uh, small medium and large businesses across the sector from the NI uh, contribution increase she has given back some uh, in terms of uh, some, some business allowances and in, by uh, raising the threshold for NI uh, contribution so you know in general obviously huge infrastructure spending which I think the country definitely definitely needs um, but she's raising that from taxes I think the key thing here is uh, the growth is not uh, expected to be forecasted as high as they were expecting so the, the thing about the growth budget I think that might not happen or it might at the moment your OBR is um, not predicting very high growth uh, sort of uh, trends trending upwards 